What's up, you all? It's your host, Living Physician, your top back here again. And today, I'm going to be reviewing 2023 since it is the end of 2023 now. I cannot believe how fast this year has gone. It's gone very, very quickly. I've, I've got to say, it's been a very, very good year. But also, there was some bad moments in it as well, but... The good, I think, does outweigh the bad, in my opinion. Well, there were some bad moments of 2024, which I'll discuss in a minute. But... Overall... For the most part, apart from... A few minor hiccups... 2023 has been a, a pretty good year, but not as good as 2022, 2022, in my opinion. So, let's discuss the good and bad of 2023. Let's start with the good. 2023 was a good year to hang out with my friends. Including making some new friends, such as Caden, who's on screen right now, to your left, to the left of me. And um, we're actually best friends now. And, um, yeah. 2023 was also the year my channel saw a big growth. Another year my channel saw a big growth, as well as 2022 and 2021. Um, um, the channel, I've, I've, made, I've made lots of new content. Ranging from lifts to hand dry con content, even lots of bus content. On my newly started bus channel as well. I started in about September. Oh, no, no, it was October I started my, my bus channel in. But, yeah, that's that's been very successful as well. I've been to lots of new places. I've been, I've filmed some new, I've filmed lots of new things. I've, it's always been the biggest year for my high growth in Hot Wheels collecting as well. I've collected several new models of Hot Wheels and Matchbox. Because in around, like, the, in the in around 2022, I really started getting interested in model cars. I was already interested in model cars in the past, but since 2022 onwards, it's the time I've been the most into model car collecting and things. And, yeah, it's been a very, very... Positive time for me. I've enjoyed everything, including Christmas. And I'm really, really happy to say that it's been a good year. Apart from, let's talk now talk about the bat. April time, I went through some tough times on my channel because I did some very stupid things that I regret doing, which I prefer not to talk about. And I am very regretful of this. That this, these, I'm very regretful of it. And I don't like. I don't want to ever think about April twenty twenty three again. For April, and May, for April, I lost a lot of respect for for, the, for some bad actions I did. And like I said, I prefer not to talk about them anymore, but... That's the past now. But yeah, I was unaware of what I was doing. I was not my usual self in April as well. And... I felt really upset and... Just scared to come online, but that's all over with now. The only other bad thing that happened was in um, November. I got um, used by Seb, who's a vile person. I prefer not to talk about, and. He basically fake apologised to me. And, yeah, I've forgotten about this situation now. I don't care about Seb anymore. I... I don't... I really don't care about him. He's... He's none of my business anymore. 
And, um, but yeah, he basically fake apologised for being mean to me. And I shouldn't, and I should have known it was a prank, but hey, these things happen. And now it's, now it's in the past and yeah, I'm glad it's over with now. Now that's over with, let's talk about the best moments of 2023. By far, the best moments of 2023 were March, the whole March in general, being friends with lots of people, and um, just having good times on Roblox, and just having good times. But the absolute best part of this year was um, not only making great friends. I'll put Caden's channel in the YouTube in in the um cha- in the um. In the description, actually, so you can give him a sub. But um, by far the best moment of 2023 was going to Malaga. Malaga is absolutely beautiful, and I don't regret visiting there one bit at all. I was a bit nervous at first when I first saw pictures of Mal of when I first I mean, I first heard that we were going to Malaga because at first I thought it was not going to be as beautiful as Ibiza, and it isn't. Ibiza is still the most beautiful place on earth. In my, in my opinion, but Mijas was just as beautiful, was was very beautiful as well, and it was a nice, and it's the second place I've been to in Spain now as well, and I took lots of pictures there, took lots of, um, that's cool, took lots of videos as well, some of them I still haven't even uploaded yet, and I still need to edit on CapCut, but, um, yeah, they'll be uploaded in, in due time. And, yeah. Just. The place, the place was absolutely beautiful. Especially the mal- mountains in Malaga. I mean. If you haven't been to Spain. Definitely, pl- definitely visit Ibiza and, and Malaga. They're the, two, they're the two most beautiful places in Spain in my opinion. Third best parts of, of the, of the of the of the year was making lots of new friends, and um, it was just it was great. After April, after 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 July, things started going up again. So, um, yeah, it was just. And as in, in life, we all make mistakes. I have to tell you this for a fact. <clears throat> I'll talk about this in the conclusion, actually. No, I'll talk about it now, actually. But in life, we all make mistakes, and um, we learn, we live, and we forget, and we forgive and forget. And along the line, along uh, along the time, in along along the way in life, you will meet people that you don't get along with, and that's completely fine. We just have to move on from these things in life. But anyways, let's now do a conclusion.